cowboy cob. We're going to be cooking very easy recipes. And my philosophy is, if I can cook it, you can cook it. Most of these meals are cooked within 5 or 10 minutes. Very basic. And today we're going to be cooking, we're going to be cooking nachos. Vegetarian nachos. <coughs> As every good cowboy knows, if you're out there on the range and you've been riding the range all day, you want to be having refried beans. Well, not just basic refried beans. We're going to be having red bean, kidney bean nachos, whatever you want to call it. Very simple. Oh, first thing we have to do, wash our hands. Got to be clean, right? My wife always says, good hygiene means washing your hands. Okay, so the first thing we need, okay, we're going to have a look here, is two tins of 400 grams of kidney beans, drained. Red beans, kidney beans, not chili beans, because we're going to add a little bit of chili sauce, okay. Only a little bit, because we don't like too much chili sauce. So, this is just no-name brand uh, chili beans, oh, sorry, the kidney beans, red kidney beans. Okay, one in there. Okay, this is so easy, a 10-year-old could do it. Okay, two tins of red kidney beans. Don't worry about buying the name brand, you know. Okay, so they're going straight in the pot. And then we've got about um, 100, 125 grams of corn kernels. And I've gone to the effort of draining them as well. They go straight into the pot. Give that a little bit of a stir. Look at that colour in there. Doesn't that just look very nice? All that nice colour. The yellow blends with the nice dark reds. Very aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> now, the one thing we haven't got is diced tomatoes. Ah, oh, there we are. No name brand diced tomatoes. Don't worry about the most expensive brand. You don't need it. important when you're looking for the right utensils that your wife, that your wife's put it back where it belongs. Ah, uh, there we go. It was probably there all along. Men always do that, don't they? You know, I can't find it. Where is it? <laughs> and it's there all the time, right? Ah, <laughs> oh, these tins be a bit messy, this one. Bit of spillage, but that's okay. Your wife can wipe that up later. <laughs> okay, so. One tin of Dolly's tomatoes. Into the mix. Just like that. Like that. You can drain that out and save that for later if you want. Mix all that. Right, mix that. And then into the mix we put. Just a little bit of sweet chilli sauce for a little bit of heat. Not too much, just a tiny little bit because we don't like spicy things, do we, King King? No. Okay. So, unless you're in Mexico, down on the border there in Mexico, you're going to be wanting something extra hot and spicy, but we don't want. So we just want about a tablespoon of, yeah, just that much. You can add a little more later if you want. Okay, so then we put this on the stove at a low heat for about, uh, about 5 to 10 minutes and it'll just be simmering away and, and all the juices will come out and you get a bit of flavour. So that's on a low heat. Then we can do that, we can get our plates ready. Okay, so that's cooking away there. Very simple. While that's cooking on the stove, you can get your corn chips ready. On a bed of corn chips is what we need. Okay. Again, you don't have to be fancy with, with brand names. You can use, um, you know, this is no name brands, but we've used um, Doritos today. Little tip though, don't use the plain variety. Always get like a cheese variety of corn chips because it just adds a little more flavour.
Who doesn't like corn chips? Everyone loves corn chips, right? And this is a fun meal you can have at um, Saturday night or with the kids or, you know, good for kids' parties. And as I said, you know, I'm all for meals that take about five or ten minutes. And this one's pretty easy as well. You know, if John Wayne had made this in one of his movies, he might have won a, uh, an Academy Award well before the 1970s. That's right. Music anecdote there. All right. So, <coughs> we're going to leave that there like that. That's simmering on the stove. And then we're going to cut the cheese. I don't mean cut the cheese as in cut the cheese. I mean cut the cheese up. Okay. Just a minute there, little woman. Hang on a sec. You know what's up? Again, you want to hope that your assistants can put things away properly. Cheese scraper. Go back and we'll have a look and see how this is simmering away. Give us that. Mm -hmm. Give us that. Yeah. Is it clean? <coughs> is it clean? Of course it's clean. We only use the cleanest culinary utensils here. chips but I find uh, sorry as opposed to the red kidney beans but I find that too it's too heavy sometimes you know if you go to a restaurant and you get um, like a nut trust meal with all the heavy cheese and the meat sometimes it's too much so I've substituted the the red kidney beans for the uh, for the beef and I find it always works so it's quite nice you don't have to have a salad or anything you can just have this as it is No close-ups, please, of my hands, because I've still got paint on my fingernails while I was painting the other day. Clean, though. Are you sure, Dad? Uh, I'm sure they're little Kimmel Subby. Okay. So once we've grated the cheese... It might be easier for people to do at home in about five minutes. I'm a bit slow with cooking, you know. So, look at that cheese. Oh, he's biased though, isn't he? He's biased. Okay, and we also got our avocado. Always uh, good to cut that up. I think you cut them like that in half. Now I can hear our mix over there bubbling away. My wife will be pleased that I did that correctly. Okay, so that's bubbling away. Another couple of, about another minute, that'll be, be just about right. Okay, so I like to garnish on the top with a little bit of avocado, a little bit of sour cream, and again, you can put a little more sweet chilli sauce, or you can put hot chilli sauce in, depending mm -hmm. on whether you like no, Dad. what grade of, what no. grade of hot sauce you like. No, Dad. It, it will be easy to If you've got little kids, though, it's 
good idea not to put things that are too spicy, you know. Now this is actually a meal that I created many years ago, looking for something easy and fun to do. Um, <coughs> and probably, again, you know, I wanted to substitute the, the meat for the, uh, for the kidney beans because it's good to have like a vegetarian alternative. Okay, <coughs> well, our mixture is ready, our kidney bean mixture. This is going to be on top of our nut truss here. So as you can see, it's thinned out a little bit. All the juices have come out of the, the beans. Okay. And then we just sort of you know, pour that over the top of the corn chips. Pour that over the top of the corn chips. Like so. Small plate there for the little partners in your house. Bit of a juice as well. Okay, and then you can put uh, a little bit of cheese. Again, this is just tasty sort of cheese, you know, you can use whatever cheese you want, I suppose. And then, put in a little bit of the sour cream, I've got light sour cream, got to watch that waistline, like so. A little bit of avocado there for garnish. A little bit of colour. And that's it. Takes you about five, ten minutes to prepare. Kids will love it. And it's delicious. Vegetarian nachos. Good eating. Get stuck in. And until next time, we'll see you on the range. Stone to Dodge City in the saddle, sitting pretty. Cowboy car rides a trail all day.